with you guys. I really should be at the hospital right now, but uh, fuck it. I haven't forgotten any lyrics yet, so. A couple hours ago, Mr. Goolsby was inadvertently hit with a camera on right on top of the head. He's got a big gash right back here. He's bleeding. Yeah. All the fun stuff. I've got a blood mullet going down the back of my neck right now. Fuck it. And with that, these walls! <laughs>
I'm really glad this is our second to last show if we had to have one. We're going to be in Jersey in a couple of days. I know some of you guys might be there. Cool night out. Derek was going, but he can't go now. What the fuck, dude? Moving things right along. This is Copy Awakening. Shit, the sack of shit, you look up all the time to 
in 1997. Yeah. We used to drive around in our car and listen to cassette tapes. Yeah, you remember those? Got a whole box of them. And uh, we had no fucking idea what we were going to do with this band. We just knew we wanted to do something on some kind of level that somebody identified with. You know, find out a little bit about ourselves along the way. I guess that's what music's about. And uh, what a pleasant surprise to see when we found ourselves. We found people who felt the same way. And uh, that's solely the reason why we've been doing it for as long as we have been. It's not a glamour trip, man. It's about having a fucking identity. Not an ego. There's a difference. But one of these bands that we used to listen to was a band called Zoinks. Yeah, Zoinks. I don't know if anybody's heard of them. I think no one. I think we dreamed this band's existence. I think we fucking found this tape in a magical dimension and it ended up in our car. But uh, they're a really cool band from Reno, Nevada. And uh, people used to say, God, Blitz Kid, man, they're ripping off the Misfits, but nobody's listened to Zoinks. <laughs> they have no idea. Anyway, this is one of their songs uh, we've always wanted to do, so we figured it's now or never. It's called Sap Sucker Sluggo. I'll be waiting on the ground, in a box in Austin Bound. I'm losing your winning. I'll be stuck in a pond, locked away from everyone. If you need me, you can find me.
idea for a very long time. We decided to give it an honest try this go around. So if you guys have anything you want to say after the show to the documentary, anything you want to say, pass it on. Let Jeff over here know. You know. <laughs> the bat whisperer, yes. But uh, before you guys uh, get in line for that documentary, why don't you guys come with us to the cemetery? This song's called Let's Go to the Cemetery.
seriously, thank you so much. We're gonna slow it down a little bit right now. So grab a dancing partner. This is called a hopeless night. <laughs>
so much. And uh, I'll get to play it two more times here in the States, so we're going to play it tonight. This one's called Mary in the Storm.
showed her to all ages. We reached the portion in the Blitzky evening where I feel it's of utmost importance. It's paramount, if you will, that you guys get to know us guys just a little bit better. So, for those of you who do not know, and for those of you who do know, Chicago, one last time, may I please introduce the band to you. Is that okay? Very nice, very nice. Now this band of my immediate right, after tonight he's going to be known as Mr. Indestructible. The master of disaster. The mad man of Alcatraz. The metabolic nightmare. Mr. Argyle J. Goolsby. Over to my far right. We have an animal of a different breed altogether. He hails from a far off land known as Paramus, New Jersey. The Sopranos and by God, God by Jovi. Check this out. Bon Jovi's not going over so well. It was better when you said Bruce Springsteen. It was better when I said Home of Bruce Springsteen, New Fucking Jersey. There you go. Alright. I like Bon Jovi better. Mr. J.V. Bastard. Woo! Back on the drums, we have the pleasure, the honor, and the privilege on the last two tours that Blitz Kids ever going to do to be playing with the motherfucker who has toured with Blitz Kid the most, has played the most live shows with this band ever than any other drummer we've ever had. He's the Ayatollah of Rock and Roller. No man is his equal. All the rest are just sequels. He is the limousine riding, wheeling, dealing, dead stealing son of a gun. Just go, devil I am. I myself, I'm one half of the Legion of Doom. I approve. Together we are Blitzkin, with our powers combined, we are Captain Planet. Remember, the power is yours. Now before we do this next song, there's one thing Chicago's gotta know. It's gotta sink in this time, guys, because it ain't coming back. You gotta you gotta feel it, you gotta grasp it, you gotta take it with you. And that's dead girls.
We'll see you sometime. Hey, I just want to say, we've been Blitzkid, and now you are. Pass that shit on for us. Tonight, we're gonna take and we're gonna buy our fucking booking agent a stack of atlases this big so you can look at a map of the United States. And I say that with nothing but love. You guys are looking at me like, oh shit, drama, but it's not. We love you, Dan. If you're anywhere out there listening in YouTube, we love you. But our van hates you terribly right now.
double booked this next song, so uh, I want to have uh, my buddy Darren and Dan from fucking Closing In come up here. We're going to trade off verses because I'm like that episode of fucking Brady Bunch where Peter had two fucking dates and he had to travel back and forth between both rooms. On the first verse, I'll do the vampire thing. On the second verse, not. I just want to say, I want to say thank you to Hook. It takes a, it takes a British man to appreciate a good beer. Thank you, Hook. I got a casting call for a Civil War vampire movie. They never called me back, so now I'm stuck with this fucking Billy Zane from Titanic haircut. Sorry. We can switch off on. Hey, check this shit out. Yeah. I've been. This guy right here has been coming to our shows. The first time we played here, I think, was at the Beat Kitchen with Agent Orange. Back in 2005 or 6, dude was like 16 and couldn't get in, so we were standing outside the whole time. And since then, I don't know how this started, but it's been a tradition. My man Darren over there is from fucking Florida. We usually do this on the Florida tip, but tonight it's going to be a big fucking party, I guess. This is called Nosferatu, Chicago! Real 
last one. Thank you guys very much. It's been an honor. It's been a pleasure. Chicago, we'll keep you here forever. Over here at that door with this camera. Come say something before you leave. Thank you. Good night.